Governor Shea Makindeo of Oyo State has restated his commitment to reduce infrastructure deficit in the state within the shortest possible time. Makinde gave the assurance while inaugurating the reconstruction of 21-kilometer airport at Jia New Ife Highway in Ibadan. The road project, awarded to an indigenous contractor, Messrs. Peculiar Ultimate Concerns Limited, is to be executed at a cost of 8.5 billion naira, completed and delivered within 12 months. Makinde said his administration remained determined to achieve infrastructure development in Oyo State. If we are to put our country back on the path of economic growth, we must strategize on how to increase our spending on infrastructure. And this is how economies work. Investors will only go where they can be assured of profits. If we do not develop basic infrastructure like roads, it will affect the cost of production, which in turn means less profit for investors. So we cannot be seriously discussing attracting investment into your state when the majority of roads and other infrastructure are in a state of disrepair. The 21 kilometer airport Ajia New Ife Express Road with a spot to Amuloko, which we're here to flag off today, is a result of our administration coming up with strategic ways of reducing our infrastructure deficit. We call it Alternative Project Funding Approach, APFA. As I explained during the budget signing last week, APFA is our way of funding some infrastructural projects in the states by having the contractors fund the projects with their own money while the state repays them over a period of time. What this entails is that the contractor carries the project risk. At the same time, we get quality delivery and quick completion of projects. And so for projects under APFA, because of the nature of spending on the project, we decided that it would be best to open the bidding process a little more so that contractors outside of Oyo State can bid as well. We reached this decision because we are looking for private entities who have the wherewithal to complete the project on schedule while at the same time passing the test of quality assurance. They will be bearing the risk of this of getting the project done in a timely manner while we pay them over the next 29 months. So while they will complete the project in 12 to 16 months, we have the op option to repay in over twice that time. The governor also responded to criticisms that trailed the cost of the contract. Some people had asked why the airport Ajia Road cost more kilometer, cost more per kilometer than the money I show you road. And let me restate that when we want to make such comparisons, we should ensure that we are comparing apples to apples and not uh, apples to oranges. One of the roads may appear longer, but when you visit the site, you will find that the airport Ajia Road has more hydraulic structures. In Lehman's town. So we'll be embarking on the expansion and rehabilitation of these bridges as well. In a welcome address, the special advisor to the governor on infrastructure, Mr. James Adekwoju, said the project aimed to eliminate congestion, reduce travel time, and improve the capacity of the road. The construction of the 21-kilometer length of airport road to Ajia to New Ife Express Road with spot to Amu Local Road is aimed at eliminating friction, congestion, and improving the capacity of the road, resulting in greater efficiency with reduced travel time and vehicle operating costs. 
Moreover, the construction of the road is also expected to improve transportation of air passengers to and fro the airport to the Ibadan interland. 